Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another AI Toolkit tutorial. So a lot of people have been asking me how to integrate the Toolkit into an existing uh, project that uses a template from the marketplace, particularly those that have their own damage systems and their own example AIs. So I'm here to show you how to integrate the Toolkit to an existing project I'm going to be using the multiplayer survival game template by Dapper Raptor. So it, this will up also apply to other other templates, other pro other projects, but I'm going to be using this one. The it should be fairly this uh, similar. The process should be fairly similar. So first off, let's go and migrate the toolkit to the existing project. Now we can do that one of two ways, either we migrate the blueprints folder, just the blueprints folder, or we can migrate the entire AI behavior toolkit folder. So if you want to keep the example AIs that we have here, these are example AIs, then you might want to migrate the entire folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Migrate. And we're going to look for the project mm, multiplayer survival game select the content folder of that and so in the existing project you can see that the toolkit has now been transferred so what we're going to do is now to integrate the existing damage system and uh, loot system as well so first off uh, let's let's find the existing AI so we can see. If we go to the class settings. You can see that there are two interfaces that are being implemented here. We need these. We need these two for our uh, AI and then this loot component as well. So let's go to the behavior toolkit and open NPC base. Go to class settings and add those two interfaces, BP int character and BP int mesh actor. Now if you take a look here, we can see that the damage is being dealt using this event damage event. And so that's what we're going to add to our AI. Let's move this down and event damage event. Just copy how it's being implemented. So this apply damage is going to trigger this event any damage, which is the uh, default damage system for the toolkit's AI. And then one more thing that we need to do is to actually set the visibility on our mesh because this uh, survival template is using line traces for uh, dealing damage. So you need set visibility to block on the mesh. And then let's go ahead and add the loot component to our NPC base. Let's just copy whatever is here. Root zero one one five ten. Compile and save. And then the next thing we're going to do is take a look at how the loot is being generated. So it's like this. Just copy this one again now since we have uh, we have an existing on death event here from the toolkit just put it right here create the variables I believe these are supposed to be exposed so let's just do that and the last thing that we're going to do is actually take a look at these uh, uh, existing functions from the interfaces. 
So you take a look at the original example AI. You have loot table and actor mesh component. So the loot table is being executed like this. Go back to our NPC base. And let's just put it somewhere here. Create variable. Set it to replicate it since this is a multiplayer game. So what we're doing is just basically uh, basically copying what the existing interfaces had. Loot table and mesh component. One more thing is we need to get the life state that is actually needed. I mean, we need to modify the life state because this is actually needed for the looting system. So let's just create a variable called dead and link that to the return. Make sure that we set dead on that event. Oops, not that. And then let's make sure, if remember we changed the visibility setting and the mesh, let's make sure that that's not affected when we go to ragdoll. So set collision response to channel, and visibility to block. So now let's add our AI and set something in his inventory so we can loot him, we can test the looting. Uh, let's add a coffee. Hit play. I'm going to equip to test the damage system. And there it goes. We press E. We can actually loot him. So yeah, that's how you implement uh, integrate the toolkit into an existing project. Uh, it's fairly similar if you're using any other uh, templates from the marketplace. Basically, you just take a look at the existing AI. In our case, it's called NPC example. Take a look at the existing AI. See if they have interfaces implemented. Implement those interfaces into the BP NPC base. As you, as you can see that we just did. Implement, implement the interfaces and then take a look at how they're using the damage system and then plug that in and then lastly if they have components that they make use of just add that component to the NPC base as well so that's how you integrate the toolkit I hope this has been helpful to you cheers guys